does God love me? Now, I know there's a number of reasons why someone might be asking this question, but I just want to assure you that all throughout the Bible, God's love for us is affirmed. The most obvious example is probably in John 3.16, where it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son. Now, maybe you're in a situation like I've been in the past, where you're stuck in some sin habit and you just can't stop sinning. And you wonder, man, does God still love me after all that? And for people who are thinking like that, I want to point you to Romans 5.8, where it says, While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. What does that mean? That means that Jesus didn't wait for us to clean up our act, stop sinning, and apologize before he decided to love us and lay down his life for us. You see, the God of the Bible, his love for us is unconditional. He doesn't wait for us to change and then make ourselves good enough for him. He loves us before. He makes the first move. Now, the Bible also says in 2 Peter 3, 9, that God doesn't desire anyone to perish and would rather have all people come into loving relationship with him. Now, some people are going to hear that and they're going to ask, well, hang on, if God loves everyone and he doesn't desire anyone to perish, then why doesn't God just save all of us and bring us all into his kingdom? And to that, I would say, God loves us enough not to. What do I mean by that? Think about it. Who's in heaven? Jesus. There are people who have spent their entire lives running from Jesus. And even after hearing the gospel, they don't ever plan on turning to Jesus. God's not going to force somebody to spend eternity with somebody that they don't want to. He's not going to force people into heaven who don't want to be there. Think of it like this. Say you're a guy and you ask this girl out that you really like. And she says, you know what? I think it's better if we just stay friends. <laughs> that hurts. But if you really love her, are you going to keep asking her out? No. What should you do? Leave her alone. And the reason is... If you really love somebody, it's not loving to force them to do something against their will. It's not loving to force her to go out on a date with you, even though she doesn't want to. And it's the same way with God. God is not going to force us to do something against our will. He professes his love for us. He makes it known what he's done for us. But he's not going to force us to make a decision that we don't want to make. That's how much he loves us. And so for those of you who are out there and just questioning, does God love us? I want you to know that his love for you is relentless. It's never ending, and you cannot sin your way out of God's love. It's that great, that encompassing, but it's not coercive. It's not forceful. So let that just be something to encourage you with, when that God loves you, and the door is open for you to turn to him and accept his son.